Charlie takes a little smile, and we all feel great. Like you're singing. Thank you. You won't help. Here you go. go <laughs> what part of America are you from? Georgia. Do you miss it? Hell no. I miss LA. Welcome to Sydney. What would you uh, say if I asked you out on a date? Hey, listen, why don't you come to Cat's birthday oh, party on Sunday? Why, well, I love you. Might make hey, is that an invitation? Crazy. Joyce, you aren't married. Yeah, yeah, but there's a war on. Let me buy you a drink, huh? Maybe later. Where you going? I'll be right here waiting for you. coming in here before the neighbors start shooting? I think you better. Come in. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. That's all the licks don't oh, have to say. It's a Happy birthday. Thank you. Come here, everybody. Oh, she's a jolly good fellow. Oh, she's a jolly good fellow. Oh, she's a jolly good fellow. Sorry. And so is Joyce. And so say all of us. And so say all of us. Thanks, Rachel. She's a jolly good fellow. I wish that my two men come home from war, so... Oh, you shouldn't have told us, now it won't come true! Did you see that? Oh, I see. Did you say two men? Yeah, her brother's in the war too. 
Almost on the tip of my yeah, tongue. Oh my. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry, Kat. I'm sorry. Hiya, honey. I need some of what this great little spot just waiting to be filled by a member of the Marines. Now, every other American service is, is represented who, here. Who's, who's the guy in the photograph? Hey, that's Jimmy. That's Kat's brother. And that's Steve, her husband. When he joined up, I took his place from the family. Nice man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. Now, listen, in the interest of Australian and American relations, Pardon I reckon me. you might be just the right sort yes, of bloke for the job. Hey, listen, that's not the right attitude. Are you all right, Kathy? Is that his view? It's a saxophone. Well, I'd heard he's a nice man. You all right? You want a drink? You'll be all right. I need a drink. Oh, you're killing me. But it beats being killed by a Jap. I caught a bullet in Guadalcanal. Pretty young, aren't you? Well, I don't know about that. I'm old enough to be your father. Oh, really? 21. How old are you? Well, I'm not 21. Come over here. I want to talk to you. Come on. 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 I want to dance. Wait a minute. I like this better than I like dancing. You Yankees are all the same. All you think about is sex. What'd you just call me? Beg your pardon? You call me a Yankee. Well, you are a Yankee. I am not. I'm a goddamn rebel. Listen, you're not staying the night, and that's that. Come on, rebel. Let Kathy get some shut-eye. Come on. Come on. Sergeant Potter, you're off limits. Listen, Bernie, just leave. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Come on, let me deck you. Bernie, just leave it. Hey, Ben. Why don't the pair of you go home? Oh, yeah, I know. Bernie, take that, please. We're going back. No, no. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. You've got five minutes to get out of here. I'm going to call the police. Did you hear me? What's the matter? You're not going to be sick, are you? Haven't you got a sergeant who'll be worried? I am a sergeant. Well, a captain or a colonel. Captain won't notice. Colonel won't care. You're Aquily, aren't you? Aquily? Come again? Aquily, you know. Hey, Walt. Actually, that's kind of cute. You mind if I borrow it? I think you are it, Corporal. I like you, Captain. You got a real keen sense of humor. You know that? There's something between us. You feel it? I feel it. For the last time, go home. I don't got a home to go to, Captain. You're not gonna lock me out, are you? You bet I am. Don't slam the front door when you leave. Listen, uh, Kathy, the streets out there are gonna be calling with MPs. Boy, they're gonna beat me up. Beat you up? Yeah, that's right. Hit first, talk later. Please go away. I'm going. Good night, Kathy. I'm not allowed to snore. You shouldn't do this to me. The couch. Let me sleep on the couch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll sleep on the couch. Yeah. Hey. 
you don't like the couch, then there's plenty of room in the park, private. All right. Good night, It's a gas ring popping. You all right? Gas ring. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm gonna get some more sleep. No, you won't. I've got to go to rehearsals. You're going wherever you're going. Well, I ain't going nowhere in particular. Haven't you got a ship or a tank or something fretting for you? The only transportation I've ever had is what grows inside my boots. Hey. Looks like eggs for breakfast. Makes me sick when I see you drinking that stuff. You close your eyes. No, don't do that. I like your eyes. Yeah, they're patriotic eyes. Blue, white and red. Up the bloody Quiet, Trap, would you say, Constable? Get that son of a bitch in the cheek! Nothing about it. Now, just piss off. Settle down! Settle! Settle, digger! Righty, Yanks. That's when I live in my place. Take it back. Asshole! Look at that. Right there. You better be careful, man. You better have a wow. To the Air Raid Club. Where? Tonight. Air I want a drink. I want an aspirin. I want to die. I bet Red will stay the night with Kathy. Okay. I bet you'll caught in the camel. To what? I'll think of something. Someone at the door. I know. Hide. You're gonna go out like that? All right. Hey, Ed. Come in, Joycey. Hey. Hello, Bernie. Hi. Are you gonna go to rehearsals? Yes. I'm not. Yes, you are. No. The nose have it. It's all right for you, Bernie. Oh, you'll never hear me deny it. I'm having a wonderful war. I'm sure you are. Wonderful. <laughs> slept on the couch. You are a disgrace to the Marine Corps. How would you know, Air Force? Your head's in the clouds. Why don't you take a walk? Hey, I never fight on Sunday. It's Monday. Monday neither. Uh, well, Kat, will you tell Bubbles I'm sick then? Yeah, one day I'll sack you, Joyce. Ah, get your hand off me. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> not like you. <laughs> well, this train's leaving town. Hey, thanks See for ya. dropping by. <laughs> See you, Cotton Picker. You cretin. <laughs> <laughs> Go down the back stairs and hurry. Then where do I go? Back to your unit if you've got any sense. Can we go? Well, now, that's going to be a bit difficult, being that most of my units already been shot up. Well, you'll have to go back because you'll be a deserter, won't you?
I am a deserter. Get out. Get out. Hey, hey. Oh, shit. Just leave me alone. Hey, I got my reasons, Kathy. Good morning, Mrs. McLeod. Lovely morning, Miss Palmer. I suppose you want to talk about the party. Oh, I most certainly do. Oh, I'm going to go to Perth. What's the matter with that? Don't get back to the coffers. I'm warning you. Morning, Tom. Good morning, Tom. Morning. Get out of their way. Good. Good. It's Good. a new guinea, but it's supposed to be a secret. Better keep me that way, then, eh? You going to come back for a boy? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, give him my hat then. Hey, Captain. Go away, rebel. Listen, uh, I just don't want my name on no war memorial, you understand? My husband's up there in that jungle. Well, I appreciate the point you're making. My but... brother Jimmy's up north, too. Yeah, doing what's got to be done. Don't you think they're scared? Yeah, look, Kathy, everybody's scared. Even little old Jap man's scared when I'm spraying bullets at him, but they don't have to be scared of me no more. Understand? Because I ain't going back. Hey, Kath, what you trying to do? Get your water cut off. Want a lift? That's your service, ma'am. Who is ma this guy, huh? Who's the septic tank? I don't know. Come to save us, have you, Yang? Yeah, that's right. Here you are. The last ones laddered the first time I wore them. Not these, top stuff. Try them on. Been rooting him, have you? <laughs> How much? The bloke I got them from said he knocked them off from a crate going to farmers. Here. And farmers don't do sell rubbish, don't do money. they? How much? Five quid to you. Five I'd rather quid. paint my legs. Of course, if you're a bit friendlier to a bloke, I mean it. Kathy, Lewis, you're so special, you know that? Kathy, right. let me tell you something. You're very special, you know that? Okay. Feel my heart. It's been under my hands, I swear. Goodbye, Riddle. Kathy, I never met no one like you my whole life. Goodbye. Hey, Kathy. Oh, that? Smoke? Joe. Lonigan? Yo, fixer, huh? I don't fix it when I see one. I'm in essential industry, mate. Yeah? I provision ships. Question is, how good are you? No, mate, you got it ass about. Question is, what do you want fixed and how bad? Now, I ain't got time to stuff around. Now, that all depends, doesn't it? You coming or not? Yeah. Got nothing better to do. Get the door shut. Where's Joyce? She'll be sicker when I sack her. She has to go work in a munitions factory. Go on, get out! Come on, come on, come on, come on, get out. All right, we're gonna stumble through the new number. I dumped my yank, how'd you make her? She's assistant, but I got rid of him. You were lovely. You were lovely. Now, pistol. Pistol. <laughs> and a one, two, three. Don't squeal at me. If you don't mean it, don't say sweet words that are not true. Oh, my God. I'm back at Brownside. What, my swiping supplies? Only from foreigners and Yanks. Never touch our fellas' stuff. Hey, John Ann, for the missus, not for you. Thanks, mate. They shoot you blokes for dessert, don't they? Occasionally, just to keep everybody in line, but yeah, might be your turn. Uh, well, they had to catch me first. How'd you go? What, what are you trying to do, run a bloke down? How'd you go? Hey, hey, how long do I have to wait? Hold your horses, I'm not Mandrake. Who? The magician. Why am I getting spares? You blokes having fun? Yeah, Wolfies are dirty on the Yank guards for checking their dinner bags. Hey, hey, listen, mate. What'd you find out, huh? Speak Greek? Greek? Yeah, you know, what's at a time? Got it a cigarette? 
What do I need to speak Greek for? Because I got you on a Greek ship going to Chile. Chile? Yeah, Chile. It's over your way, isn't it? Well, not exactly, but I guess it beats Guadalcanal, right? It'll do. Whose side do you want anyway? You walk if I told you, are you? You're never going to walk on the walls again, boy. All right, where's this dog going to shit? Gets a bit lonely up here. You know what keeps me going, Kath? I think of holding you. Tell the old bastard Bubbles to have a beer for me. How many yanks you been out with, Hazel? <laughs> God, I lost count. <laughs> There was a cab driver from Brooklyn. Then there was Lenny here at a deli in Milwaukee. There was Herman, the engineer from Atlantic City. Were they scared? What of? Going back to the front. Didn't talk about it. <laughs> Mostly had other things on their mind. <laughs> Why? Nothing. Is something up, Kath? Is it Steve? I'm frightened. Steve will come back from the war. You know he will. I'm frightened of what I'm feeling. The thing is, Hazel, I'm not sure I want him to come back. To me, I mean. There were other women. We'll be again, I suppose. Steve will probably come back home ready to settle down with kids and all. For the first time in my life, I'm out there doing what I want to do. I don't want to go back to living in Steve's shadow. Sometimes, I almost wish the war would go on. All right, Bubbles, give him a break. Holy mackerel, and Bubbles in a sink with me. You should have come to the Hotel Australia, Kath. Bernie and me had a ball. You painted my lines on. Did he get them straight? Jesus, Joycey. Joycey, how old were you when you learned to talk? Usual age, I suppose. Why? I thought you'd be getting sick of it by now. Why? All I can pay you is what I got. 17 down. Cow dropping in eight letters. 100 pounds. Starting with a B. That's all I got. Hey, fits perfect. Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit? Yeah, bullshit. Right, 100 pounds thereabouts. What's that mean, thereabouts? Thereabouts means... That means maybe even a bit more. How much more? I'm not saying a lot. I'm just saying a little bit. You know Lady Macquarie's chair? I don't even know the lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's a place. You, you're the harbor. Well, is that where I'm going to board ship? No, that's where you're going to wave a goodbye. What sort of goddamn games are you playing with me, huh? A game called Face the Facts. All right, I'll live with you. I'll live with you. All right, I got 150 pounds. That's all I got. Fact is, she sails at midnight. Now, this is where I'm going to be tonight. If you want to sail with her, bring 200 pounds. Uh, how do I know I can trust you? You don't. But who else is going to help a yellow-bellied arsehole like you? Hmm? Oh!
What are you doing in here? I knew it was your room. This is starting to dark. I thought I told you to stay away. Hey, Kathy, I got myself a ship. I won't look. It sails at midnight. So why come here? Well, I had to come to say goodbye to you. You're trying to lose my job for me as well as my flat. There's no way I'm ever going to be able to forget you, you oh, know? Rebel, that? you're halfway across the Pacific Ocean. Kathy McLeod, let me see. Who was she? Well, if you didn't get married, if you weren't married, there'd be no way I'd ever be able to leave you. Don't say things you don't mean. I do mean it. I mean every word of it. But I am married. And you're a deserter. I love your eyes. You don't listen, do you? That guy Bernie walking around with black eye. I hit him because he didn't know how to talk respectably about a lady. See you later. Bye. I'm going to Chile. Where you going, huh? I'm going to Chile. <laughs> Well, I can't do that. It's over now. Wait. You think I want a lottery? You Yanks win at every payday. Hey. You know what, baby? You look like my little sister. What do you want? Get that doggy back. Get in there. Is this where I find Tiger? You're not gonna make friends asking questions. What do you want? Ain't that a question? Smart ass, are ya? That's a question, too. Hey, hey, what's going on here? If this is some sort of cockfight, I'm against that. It's a two-up game. Back ahead, back ahead, back ahead. Hey, Tyke, come back here. Hey, Tyke, get in on it. Hey, you gone? What have you been doing? Hey, why don't we get the small talk back? Tell me. What was it? Just tell them. What have you been doing? You know about this, have you? Come on, give me a good night. Well, a boy from Alabama, a neighbor from Gandhi Guy. I sure hope that bastard's still alive, because when I get back, I'm gonna kill him. But he's your old man. Look, I don't care. That bastard, that bastard, he killed the man that was growing inside of me, you understand? I'm gonna kill him. I'll shove you in the electric chair. No, then we'll not judge you. Why not? They're hanging down there. Ah. My old man used to beat the shit out of me, too. So you know what I used to do? Hey, hey we should get going, I used huh? to sneak up behind him and beat him over the head with a lump of wood, and then run for my bloody life. Is that right? Yep. Then what did he do to you? Well, he bloody beat me black and bloody blue. But it was worth it. Because he figured out the only time he ever got clobbered was after he'd whacked me. So he stopped hitting me, and I stopped hitting him, and we lived in peace and harmony from that day on. Pissed on together the lot. One big happy family, huh? Mm. Tommy! 
So why'd you spill your gas to Kathy? Because I trust her. Well, you're a mug. I don't even trust myself. Yeah, well, I can understand that. Give us a shifty. Well, what? A look at your bloody money. You don't trust me? Mm. Has your mate got his liberty pass? The MPs are outside. Get upstairs. Hurry up, you girl. Fuck someone. All right, nobody's getting out of here. Let's jump in. Get your hands off me, slut. I was fucking dead, bitch! Get out of my way, you stupid whore. Get out of the way. Who are you, ugly looking? I've been all my life, mother. Yeah, you sure, sure. Some of the time. Five minutes, Open huh? You want five? <laughs> Stop their funnel and you aren't one of them. So what's your story? What are you really running from? Hey, can't this heat go on faster? A bit. <laughs> All right, where are we going? Down this way. Look, but don't touch. What a heat. All right, 100. Give us a bloody roll. 120, 140. Just give us a bloody roll. Wait a minute, we had an agreement. Just give us a bloody roll. Ah, where's this dog on ship? It's bloody gone. <sighs> bloody foreigners can't trust the bastards. You ain't getting a dime out of me until you get a goddamn ship.
ship left early. Look, I could get into a lot of trouble having you here. I'm not going to stay long. Hey, I just came by. I wanted to give you the birthday present. How much did Tiger charge you? Two blues. Five pounds each? Yeah, he wanted more, but I remember how much he asked you. He asked me five pounds for two pairs. He did? Son of a bitch. You better come in. Well, there you go. You look terrible. I thought you didn't like fighting. I feel lonely, Kath. Lonely as hell. You feel lonely too, don't you? Yeah, I do. But I can't fall in love with you. Share the night with me. Guadalcanal, sort of. It's beautiful. When you're looking at it out from the ocean. I mean, it's just thin, long piece of land. Huge mountain. White beaches with coconut trees. And the waves are also white in the morning. And then come mid-afternoon, it's gone red. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Don't sweetheart me if you don't mean it. Don't say sweet words that are not true. Don't tear my heart like it was paper because.
I'm going to learn this thing. That are not true. Don't tear my heart. Here, here, here. Here, here. That's right. Here, here. Like it was paper. Because this heart loves only you. You can't go around, sweetheart another, and pretend that I am yours exclusive. Now, every time he writes, he says he's going to love me forever. And I cry. Well, I know how you feel about it, Steve. You dreading him coming home? Uh, looking for the love and affection that you just don't have for him anymore. I understand. You want some cornflakes? Cornflakes? Mm-hmm. I'm hungry. Jesus Christ, you watch cornflakes. <laughs> give me that. Hey! Give it to me! <laughs> I'll give you cornflakes. You're in big trouble now. <laughs> Come here. I want to get you. No, you're not. <laughs> Come on. Fat bag. The police were looking for you in the club tonight. They were, huh? Yeah, well, they'll be looking for me, all right. First in the saloons and brothels. And then in the morgue. Shit. You take sugar on your cornflakes? I wouldn't dream of it. See, cornflakes are a very tricky thing, very personal. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had casual affairs. Well, neither have I, and I'm not going to start now. No, sorry. I wish I could hide you here for the rest of the war. Yeah. Mrs. McLeod, numerous little signs indicate to me you're no longer the sole occupant of your flat. What little signs? I can't help but noticing which of them are busily whirring. Quite little chatterboxes. I'm running late, Miss Palmer. Right now, for instance, in your absence, your meter's registering. It's my brother. He's home, on leave, from New Guinea. Oh! Oh, oh well, I hope you don't think I object to you having your brother spend well, his leave. Well, the lease says. Oh, we all know what the lease says. I'm. <laughs> I'm delighted for you. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Palmer. What's his name? Jimmy. You know it's not safe for you here. I want to talk to you in five minutes. Hey, hey, hey! What about my ship? There you go. I got, I got things on there. I told you later. Twenty quid. When? Ho, ho, ho. Later. When? Later. Hey, did they pay? What do you? Hey, go! Thank <laughs> you. 
wide open, dark brown like coffee. And then it closed real slow like a, a lizard. And then it opened again. And I thought, God damn, this boy is still alive. But he had blood coming out of his nose and mouth. So I knew he was going to hurt me. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Why am I telling you this? I want to understand. He had his hand right alongside of me. He had a hold of something. So I, I reached out and slowly slipped it out of his hand. And it was a photo. It was a snapshot of a woman and some kids. And he was trying to look at it. And so I held it close. I held it close where he could see it. I'm telling you, Kathy, he's, he looked at me and he turned his eye into that photo. And I saw a tear roll right down his cheek. And then he looked at me and he was trying to thank me. And then it, he just sort of went blank. And I knew he was dead. And I said out loud, you dumb son of a bitch. What are we doing here killing each other, huh? He couldn't hear him because he was dead. And I decided right there that if I got out of that jungle, I wasn't going back. And no Jap bastard was going to kill me. And I wasn't going to kill no Jap bastard. My war was over. Look what I got for Christmas! <laughs> Kathy, may I call you Kathy? Sure. This came for you, my dear.
Hey, where do you keep the napkins in this place? Huh? Hey, I never told you I was one hell of a cook, did I? Did I? What's wrong, kid? I should open it. Yeah, well, sure. I mean, there's probably nothing to it. No, I don't need that. Dave's dead, isn't he? Yeah, he's dead. It's Dave. You're not a coward, are you? I don't know. I just know that I ain't doing no more fighting. I know you're not a coward. I know you love your country. Yeah, I do. Particularly Georgia. You're gonna love it, too.
What are you doing? I'm just uh, s s sleeping on the couch. Why on the couch? Well, I thought you might want me to. Won't you near me? Yeah. Rebel? Uh huh. I'm coming in. Funny thing, I just uh, I almost fell asleep with my boots on. Can't even cry for him. You are crying for him. Don't say that. You know, Talia, um, you got me another ship. And it sails tomorrow the next day. And I thought it'd be best, it'd be safer for both of us if I left tomorrow. Safer for you, don't you mean? Now, listen, I'm coming back when the war's over, all right? Sure. Why are you getting like this, huh? Why not? All right, tell me what you want from me. Tell me. What do you want from me? I want you to stay with me. You want me to stay with you? You want, you want me to turn myself in? You want me to go back to war? Tell me. Tell me what you want from me. Just, what do you want Get from me? No, what do you that. want from me? Tell me. You're scared, Gutless, aren't you? Tell me what you want from me. Come on, Just tell me. Get out! Get out! Get out! All right, I'm leaving. Fall in love with that silly bitch, have you? Go, go. Tell me about the ship. Tell me about the money. Wait, I thought we had this conversation. It's the same deal. Well, it's not enough. Well, it's all I got. I don't believe you. You don't believe me? Hey, is Rebel American for Jesus, is it? What? You can walk on water, can you? Because that's what you're going to have to do if you want to get home. Where are you going now? I've had enough of your bullshit. I'm pissing off. They should tell me exactly what you've got down right. your last bloody cent. All right, I'll level with you. You were losing pay up. I got 250 pounds. What happened? If I tell you the truth, you gonna believe me? If I get to my car and you're still coming the raw prawn, then it's her room, Mark. I'm telling you the I truth. I can't hear ya. 300 pounds, and that's every cotton picking penny I got. Now you take it or leave it. You speak Dutch? Dutch? Yeah. You know? What's at a time? Got it a cigarette. Now you wait a minute. I thought that was Greek. to my birthday party. Seen him since? No. You know where he's staying? No, I don't. Hey, Kathy, you coming? You give us a call if you see him again? What's he done? He's a deserter and a sergeant in the Marines. Yank MPs want him real bad. Who dug me into the police? Not me. It was you, wasn't it, Joycey? They were showing this photo, and when they showed it to me, you I... You said rebel. Well, I couldn't help it. It just came Go out. Go your stupid bloody mouth. See you later, girls.
sing good tonight? Because I heard them clapping loudly. It's dangerous for you here. Kathy, I want to say something to you that I didn't say last night. I didn't give you much of a chance to say anything. I like you more than any girl I ever met or ever expect to. I don't just like you. I'm, I'm fond of you. I'm, I'm fond of you like I could burst with it. And uh, I don't know. It's tough enough saying bye. And I just, I, I didn't want to make it too difficult. It's too late. Why, are you, you fond of me? Like I could burst with it. You want to walk me home? Yeah, I was headed up that way anyway. Oh. I bet you if I race you, I beat you home right now. Rubbish. Rubbish, huh? Rubbish. Well, let's go. <laughs> Don't you think you ought to take your meat tickets off? My what? <laughs> your meat tickets. These. Oh, yeah, geez, my dog tags. Mm-hmm. Can I have them? You want them? Yeah. What the heck you want with them? Something to hold on to? Have them. Go ahead and keep them. You know, the proudest moment of my life was when I first put on that uniform. I sometimes wonder. Hey. It's not a bad fit. Looks good. This must be his. Look. Do you mind me wearing this? You won't need it anymore. Yeah, I suppose not. What's your name? What, my real name? Yes, your name. Yeah, Harry. No, it's not bloody Harry, it's Peter. Peter bloody vest. And you say it with a ver. Oh, yeah, well... Uh, OK? Yeah. Well, let's oh, get out of here. I've got a funny going? feeling about this place. Wait, what sort of feeling? I don't know. In the old comic cuts, just a feeling. Are you saying we're going to get caught? Not we, you. Just get him on the ship this time, Tiger. Or I'll double... Bloody you. women, what would you know about honour? Honour from you? Which sewer do you sleep in? Oh, great. Now she's going right. to get hysteric. All right, come on. Just come. Shit. Tiger. Quick. Yeah, what do you want? Good evening. I'd like to see Mrs. McLeod, please. Mrs. McLeod? Can we come in? Yeah, I suppose so. Hey, Kath. Yeah. Some blokes here to see you. Mrs. McLeod. Hello, Mr. Browning. These two gentlemen are United States military policemen. This is my brother, Private Butler. Jimmy. I've seen you somewhere before, haven't I? Oh, I just got one of those sort of faces. Smoke? Look, hey, do you mind? I've got to sing tonight. Corporal Lambert wants to ask you a few questions. Well, ma'am, we can start with the night of the party, huh? Again. On leave, are you, Jim? Yeah. What, Army? Yeah, that's right. Where have you been fighting? New Guinea. So, um, I went to New Guinea after I went to the islands. That's right. Sent you that card. Thank you, ma'am. I'm grateful for your cooperation. That it? Yep. Beauty. Thanks a lot, Jim. Okay. Oh, oh forgive me. 
I was wondering if the gentleman would care for some refreshments. Well, that's very kind of you, but we've got to go. Good night, Mrs. McLeod. Good night. I won't need to bother you or your brother again. Good luck out there, Jim. Thanks. Oh, but this isn't Mrs. McLeod's brother. I know this young man. Right. All right, sport. Who are you? Kelly. Patrick James. Six months for a and e <laughs> Smoke? Operator, eh? Oh, Kathy. Oh, shut up, you nosy old bitch. How dare you? All right, turn the place over. You got an identity card? You hey, got watch a search it, mate. Warrant? You watch it. Under the national security regulations, I've got all the authority I need. Is that right? I don't know, I suppose so. Thanks, Miss Palmer. Oh. You're going to let her a thanks from the Commissioner. Thank you, Sergeant Browning. Protected industry, that'd be right. You can't all be in the army. You could be sport. Next week, eh? Come on, Kelly, it's either you or a Yank deserter. I'll have one of yours. He's not a deserter, he's only AWOL. He's not wearing his uniform, ma'am. You'll shoot him, won't you? Shoot him? Congress would be annoyed if we shot him. I won't shoot him. Him or you? Well, I suppose it's got to be him. Tiger, no names, no Patrick. Oh. He's in the bath. What? You dumb bastard, he's in here. Can I go now? Yeah, why don't you piss off? Yeah, go and hang yourself, Judas. Listen, Kat, get smart. Look after yourself. They're drowning. They won't shoot him. They'll hang him. I give up. Get out! I give up. Get out! Get him out of here. Come on, you bastard! Come on. Hey, let me get back in my uniform. Give him a break. If he's in uniform, it'll go easier for him. This is a deserter. That's a purple heart. Yeah. Get back in it. Thanks a lot. And you show us how proud you are of it, here? Well. Can I ask you another favor? Hey, don't push your luck, boy. I'd like to talk to Kathy. Say goodbye. Sure. Say goodbye. I mean, alone. We are two stories, huh? Hey, look. I wouldn't lie to you. That's my solemn word of honor. Your word of honor, huh? As a southern gentleman. That's right, as a southern gentleman. Mm -hmm. He's got two minutes. Let's go. Went at Willie myself once. Is that right? 28 days in the cooler. What's going on? Give it a shot. You shook hands with him. They won't give up on you now. No, but I'll be on a ship going on. Well, I hope so. Because if you're not, you're dead. Well, that's a chance I have to take. Huh? Trust me, darling. I'll never trust, trust you again. You level with me. I'm going out this window. I'm getting on the ship. Going out this window and getting on the ship. Now, are you going to tell him? Are you going to tell him? Of course I'm not going to tell him. Hey, Sergeant! I'd say that'll be two minutes. I love you, Don. You know that? Go. 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 That son of a bitch! Southern fucking Dirty gentleman! Dirty little bastard! They catch him, they'll break both these legs. And you, lady, you've been harboring a deserter. You haven't said the lot to me! Son of a bitch, I'm going to 
guys gonna beat me up? Maybe we can work this thing out, huh? At ease, Cobb. Get your hands down! Get over there! Get up, Sergeant. Six down there. your money and you can board. Show is pretty. It's your last chance, mate. Now or never. Pretty as a picture. You know, hey, they could put Kathy in prison. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't give a damn, do you? You don't give a damn about her. You don't give a damn about anybody but yourself, and I don't like you. What's gonna happen to Kathy, huh? huh? Oh, I wouldn't worry about Kathy. She's been rooting every yank in town. Don't mess with me. Yeah, I suppose it's a good thing he's not coming back. Tired like you. Knocking around with yanks. Let them stuff you. I don't. You don't want a good bloke, do you? You want a bludger like Kelly or that bloody yank? Decent bloke's too tame for you, isn't he? Isn't he? You've got no right talking to me like this. Well, haven't I? I wouldn't talk about rights if I were you. You do the right thing by me, I'll do the right thing by you. You know where he is, don't you? I'm asking you to help him, Kathy. Why are you sticking your neck out? I put you away. Because I love him and I promised him. You promised him, mate. What you promised him? He's tired of killing. Don't you understand? my 